Hey everyone, I'm very excited. I've just had this book through the post. It's, I don't know who sent it to me, so a big thank you to whoever it was. There was no gift um, receipt. No one has contacted me yet to say they sent me a book um, or to say they sent me this book. So thank you so much to whoever it was. Um, if you would like to contact me, maybe through Instagram or Facebook, that would be lovely and I can just give you a personal thank you. But otherwise, thank you. I actually added this book to my wish list yesterday <laughs> and here it is. I'm so excited. I love autumn and so this being an autumn colouring book is just perfect for me. And I can't wait to look inside. I have looked at flip throughs before but it's been a while so I'm excited to share it with you and I'm sorry about this um, I've got my lamp on today it's really sunny it's pouring in all over the desk so shut the blind pop the lamp on we won't see it so much once we open the book anyway so here we go Oops. Let's, oh, let's show you the side we've got a nice green olive green color and uh, and the same picture on the back as on the front so that is rather fun so in we go so we have got um, the paper, I I think the other copy of Matchstick Mass I've got came from the US and the paper was quite toothy. This one doesn't feel quite so much so, it's come from the UK. I'm not sure whether that has made a difference. I don't know if they're Amazon print-on-demand books. I think, yeah, they are. So the paper in the UK, to me, seems quite different to the US paper. But that's okay, we'll do some colouring. Um, once I've done a flip through so we can have a go at that and I'll let you know how it seems to feel um, so we've got a little list that belongs to I may not fill that out I'm, I'm, I can't write my own name although someone gave me a great hint um tip on a video as to how to write your name was to print print one out and um, trace it on and then just write over it it's a really good idea I may do that um, maybe not with this one but when you've got a nameplate and you colour it I feel like you've got to fit it in so let's get started. We've got a cute picture here, but here we go with this one. So look, he's done a little drawing. I assume that's him. <laughs> so cute. So there he is. Um, or she. Some people say she for Matchstick Mouse. I don't really know. Anyway. Oh, look. Curled up. We've got acorn. We've got a stamp. <laughs> Conquer in a shell. Oh, it's so cosy. It's such a cute picture. We've got a spider again in this one. In the summer book that I've got, we've always got a little worm. So maybe this book is different. But we've got no um, little critter in this one. Look at all these parcels. How very exciting. I mean, what's what are they doing? Sending off to um, for Christmas or something? Mm. Imagine getting that many. <gasps> Don't imagine that. Oh. Little scared cat, we've got a nice brick wall behind. A little beetle. The little beetle appears in the um summer book. Oh, it's raining. I've seen um June's colours. I did a beautiful um video for this page, um, where she coloured um the Mac in a really lovely red colour. So if you've got this book and you want some help with this page, then take a look at hers because it's amazing. Oh, look, snugly warm, cup of hot chocolate, dark outside, it's a worm beetle. It's my idea of a perfect evening. I do love cozying up inside. <laughs> There's a slightly Halloween y theme going on with our bat swings. It's quite fun. Look at this little cute one, too. What a fun picture. What I do like about this book is you can get the pictures coloured quite quickly and uh, I could come in closer couldn't I? Sorry I could have done that before but um, um, you can do them quite quickly or you can take your time like this picture here we've got quite a, we've got the different spiders we've got the cotton reel um, probably a stamp there the book bits and pieces and you could do it quite quickly you could do it quite slowly there's different options there for you and the same with this one, for example. Look, we've got a piece of cheese. We've got a little um, writing a letter, maybe? Lantern. This is the one from the front of the book. And so we've got this sort of bit round the window, which looks like wood. And then the bit round here, which looks like it's... It almost looks like the inside of a tree. Let's see how it's been done here. It's been done in a brown and a green. 
this is quite fun I, these are colored digitally so it's quite different to um, how we would color it with a pencil let's say but that's okay a table looks like it's made from a cotton reel. We've got a lantern to colour as well. It's quite a fun picture and there's lots of little details or you can just do it quite quickly. Oh, black cat. Look at this tree with all the windows in. That's really lovely. And another one the same. How cute. We haven't actually got mouse in this picture. There's a few without mouse. Ah, oh, you think this is mummy? Mummy mouse? Look at these. Yum. Mm. Look at the face. <gasps> <laughs> we have a nice little candle too. This one looks like he wants some too. Oh, little owl sleep. I know some people really love owls. It's a quite a fun one. We've got lovely um, trees to colour and, and their little house. It's a really nice picture. Oh, scuffing through all the leaves. What fun. I still do that sometimes. Do you? Oh, another sort of bat like picture. It's quite fun. Look, got a little flower. That's really fun. We've got some really pretty flowers in this picture. Look at these. They look like um daisies, sort of um gerbera daisies or something like that. And we're in a nest, aren't we? Look at these little babies. And we've got a little hand puppet. What fun. Lots of leaves. There's a lot of leaves in these books, which is partly the attraction. That's a nice snail. Oh, that's really fun. It's going off to post a letter. Having a ride. I like that picture. Oh, we're drawing on um, a sort of chalk board, I think. There's spiders. These lovely, aren't they? Really nice. Having some fun. <laughs> ah, so this isn't... This is a bat. So I thought that was the mouse because they look really similar, but it isn't, look. And its rucksack is made from a conker case. That's really fun. Oh, now it makes more sense. Oh, it's raining. I shall shelter you from the rain. I won't do a raining one because I think it, raindrops are always nice and a sparkly blue pen, something like that. I don't have one in here. I have a sparkle pen. I suppose I could colour it blue and then put sparkle on top. I'll have a think in a minute which one I'm going to do. So we're running along. It's quite a small picture, isn't it? We've got a nice sort of um, stars. Now what I like about the fact that it's single-sided is that you can put a um, like a stickles or something on here or even sequins or something and it doesn't matter because you're not going to be colouring on the back. Although, because you never colour on this side, ever. So that's quite nice. We've got a candlelight colour in this one, so that's quite a challenge. Quite fun, I think. Lots of little critters as well, sheltering in from the rain. What have we got? Look, very small there. What's going on here? We've got conkers. We've got lovely plants. I can't quite work out. What are the details? Excuse me. I shouldn't be so tired. And that's a pretty one. It's just peeping out. I, uh, I've been getting a bit more sleep because it's not been so hot, but uh, I think I'm still sort of catching out. It looks like they're going off on an adventure, doesn't it? It's really fun. What's, what's that? What's that? Hmm, not sure. Got some nice flowers in this one. It's night time, look. I don't really know what that is. Hmm. I have to look at how some other people have coloured that one. I love this fluffy owl. It's so cute. Oh, what's that? Chocolate, do you think? Mmm, yum. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Just sitting back, relaxing and eating. Now we're doing some knitting. And we've got balls of wool. Nice comfy cushion inside. Look, it's knitted that mouse and it's a daffodil. It's interesting. Candy. It's big, isn't it? You couldn't eat that. <laughs> and we're doing some sort of gathering or sweeping the leaves with this interesting fork. <laughs> what fun. Oh. We're flying. We're using one of these. Um, we always used to call these helicopters. And you throw them in the air and they spin round. They're very cool. It's a really fun picture. Oh, 
And that's our last one. What fun. So now I'm going to pick one to colour. I'm just going to stop the film and look back through and pick one. And then I'll get my pencils out and I'll be back with you. Right, I decided on this picture, I thought I would do one that had a little bit less detail just to, uh, because we've already done quite a fair bit on the video already, we did the flip through. And I've got this set of pencils and I felt there was enough um, different colours in that set to work with, um, with this picture. So these are the Castle Arts Monet set. All of the pencils in this set are in the 120 set. Um, there are quite a few different ones to the, um, to the, what's the set I'm, name I'm looking for, the 72, but uh, that's why I picked it. This one I'm going to start with, it's a yellow ochre, and I'm going to do this tree trunk. It's quite pale, but I don't have a sort of in between brown, so I'm going to just start with this and then add some brown after to darken it a little bit. Yeah, so the 72, I I had some vouchers, so I actually got this set for free. And um, I, uh, because it was on sale for £10, and I had £10 worth of vouchers, so I just chose it. Because quite a few of the colours weren't in my 72 set, or in any of the other um, 24 sets that I had. So uh, some of them, you may not have them if you've only got the 72 set. But you can use the light terracotta or um, something like that for this just anything that's um, of course you may be using a different brand of pencils altogether so anything that's brownie yellow and ochre um, a naples yellow something like that it's, it's going down nicely on this paper i have to say but uh, we're going to add some more layers oops I'm going to grab the dark, the brown. This is the only brown that we get, which is the burnt umbar. And I'm going to use this on the edges. Now, I don't want to be too dark because we've got this black in the background. And we don't want it to completely disappear. But I just want to try and add a little bit of shape. So by adding a little bit of black to each side, we can make the branch look a little bit more rounded. Which... I rather like. I should have brought my water in. I'm suddenly feeling thirsty. I've been out this morning and I had to go and renew my driving license. Every 10 years you have to have it renew it and have a new photo. And I pop to the post office and they take the photo for you and send it off, check all the details for you. And although you pay a little bit extra for that, that's okay. You can approve the photo, take the photo, or the photo is terrible. You have to um, do an expressionless photo. And uh, yeah, that was not nice picture. Um, I'm trying to think where to go next with this colour. Um, I think I'm going to use this. We have a burnt sienna that I've just spotted. And I'm just going to extend my dark brown with that towards the middle of the branch a bit and give it a bit more warmth um the picture was terrible it looked like he and um, the guy at the post office was joking he said his always look make him look like a convict i think yes but mine just looked like i was really angry <laughs> like i don't want my photo today it didn't look expressionless at all it looked really angry <laughs> we did laugh about it but uh, the system accepted it and that was fine uh, <laughs> and I had to take my specs off as well. I've all I've worn glasses since I was a um, since I was about nine, I think. And um, I had to take them off, so it felt it. I just didn't look like me. <laughs> but hey ho, it is what it is. It it looks enough like me. So uh, anyway, oh dear. But um, I went out early because. Um, it's not hot, hot, but it's sunny today. I don't like being out in the hot sun. I don't think it's really very healthy for us. I'm going to go back with my um, um, yellow ochre now and just go over all of it and just try and blend it all together and make it look a little bit tidy already. I have to say I like this paper. It's, uh, it's doing quite well. It's not that toothy. It's enough. To, you know, we're layering up a little bit. And that's good. But it's not um it's not leaving lots of white a little bit but all paper does 
so uh, I'm quite happy with it. And I'm happy with this sort of mix of browns as well. I've made a mess down there, but hey, let's pretend I haven't. <laughs> let's pretend I haven't gone out of the lines. Okay. Now this is an autumn book, so I think we should be trying to do some autumnal leaf colours. Now, I'm looking at what I've got green-wise. I've got a minty green and a bluey green and a viridian and a grey green. So I think this is the only green I'm going to be using, which is the leaf green, but it is quite bright. I'm going to use it in combination with some of these browns and browns and yellows really so actually on the bottoms of these leaves and this one we're going to do them all at the same time because they're the same leaves and the ones in the bag we'll do them all the same and we'll use this sorry it's the burnt sienna we use this to color the base of the leaf and just fade it up yeah, so i um was in town on my own left the boys here um, their dad was here for a bit because he was always leaves late for work and uh, then they were fine they were getting on with the i don't know getting their university application forms done and uh, i picked them up a couple of birthday presents their birthdays in august and uh, i usually get really organized do this leaf um I want the tips to be green, so I'm going to try and just put a little bit on all of these. Um, their birthday's in August, and I usually pick up a lot of gifts for them um, before they finish school slash college, but they finished a bit early this year, and I was disorganised. So, uh, no, <laughs> I haven't done any. Well, a little bit. So I picked them up a few things, which they don't know about. I brought them into this room and hid them. They won't go looking. They they like the yellow ochre. They yeah, they don't do that. They know it sort of spoils it really. As much as they claim they don't like surprises, it sort of spoils it. So I'm taking that all the way to the end, and I'm going to come back with the green. Hopefully it'll all work together. So we don't want everything really brown, or else it's although it's autumnal, it overtakes the whole page. So because we've got this big brown area here, we can add a bit of green, and it just um, makes it changes it a little bit, changes it up. I'm sort of thinking those bits might be. Now I'm a bit worried that I haven't got any brown. How am I going to do the mouse? doing grey. Now what I've done in my summer book is I have been, I don't know what that is, I'm just going to colour it, um, I have not stuck to the same colours for my mouse all the way through. You could do, make, make matchstick mouse the same colour on every page, but it means you might need to use the same set of pencils on every page, which I don't do. I realise I haven't put a piece of paper between the pages, but as it's only single-sided, I think we'll get away with it. Okay, I'm going to grab my green now, because it's looking very, very brown, which obviously is an autumnal thing. So the leaf green, as I said before, it's going to be quite bright, I think. I think it would just add that touch of colour that we need. I'm just sort of going to fade it in, not take it all the way down. So yeah, but I got home early because I didn't, before it got too hot. I had my hat with me because it's sunny, but I couldn't put it on until after I'd had my photo taken because I didn't want hat hair. Although it might have distracted you from the scowly face. <laughs> oh dear. Now you're going to say, can you show me the photo? No. <laughs> no, I can't. I haven't got it at the minute. They, um, it has to be processed and whatever. I don't know how long it takes. I didn't actually ask him. They send you the card with the photo on. But no. <laughs> I'm going to be firm and cruel. <laughs> and, and negative. <laughs> but I should show it to my children and they will laugh and laugh. I'm sure. But anyway. Never mind. Um, it is done now. So I put my hat on after I left the uh, post office. 
and uh, I saw um, I walked along the canal which I try to do it's shady as well which is nice and in most places not everywhere just mixing that up a bit like some greens some browns now we have the um, conquer or chestnut case now I would normally um, do some brown in this but I've got a lot of brown I'm gonna do this all in this green mm. yeah I'm gonna do this all in this green then add another green I think because it's quite bright these are normally a brownie green so we'll do a layer and then we'll now, I know I said the stars will be nice in a gold pen or a sparkly pen and I didn't have one. Well, when I stopped the video, I didn't go and get one. <laughs> so we'll have to experiment with what I've got, which is always good, creative and fun, I think. Okay, so there's that. It's too bright. So we have got the little strap though. I might do the little strap in this colour. But I'm going to pick another green. Um, so I've got an emerald green. I thought it was mint, but it's emerald. It's a bit bright. I don't think that's going to help us. Um, I think the viridian might help us. It is a bluey green, but it will darken. So I'm going to just start use it quite gently on the edges. We've actually got markings here to show us that this bit should be darker anyway. So that's nice and useful. Now if I had, if I was using my full set of castles, I would be using a cadmium green for the main bit and darkening it with a chrome oxide or oxide of, oxide of chrome? I can't remember, but I don't, so this is going to have to do. So what I'm trying to do is make all of it darker apart from these pointy bits and I'm trying to make it less dark towards the middle where it, because of its shape might be shiny here so I'm gonna emphasize that a little bit more just go back over it so there's a swan on the canal which is nice and uh, what else did I see I'm not sure my son sent me a photo when I got back on um, discord which I couldn't get to work stupid thing anyway and it was a green woodpecker apparently he was so small I couldn't see it and um, that he'd been watching through the window while he was supposed to be doing his work so that was rather nice for him. Now these pointy bits, I do feel like I want them to be quite brown. Maybe we'll use the yellow so that it's not the same. Oh, we've got a cadmium yellow here. We'll try that. Might not be dark enough, no. I'll put it on all of them anyway, now I've started. I've got to carry on. And we'll put a bit of dark brown. I think it's going to be the answer. What's that? just coloured that in yellow. That's surely a bit of a star. Actually, we might want this for the stars, thinking about it. Okay, so we use the burnt umber, I think. I'll just go over them really lightly. While I think about it, I am going to do the stars in the cadmium yellow. Okay, I'm going to sharpen it because I don't want to go over the black if I can help it. I'm sure I will because that's what I do. But uh, I try. So I'm just going to colour them quite hard and we're going to put some sparkle on those at the end. And so it will look like a yellow sparkly gel pen, but it isn't. Now if you don't have the glitter pens and things, they'll look nice and just yellow. It's quite a nice autumnal colour as well, so it will work. Um, so I think it'll be fine. Now the little dots, I'm not going to colour in um, at all. I'm going to just put the sparkle on them, so I'm going to leave them white. If you haven't got sparkle, I would suggest not leaving them white. Maybe do them in a blue, perhaps. I know some stars are sometimes red, but or, or if you see Mars, it's red, isn't it? 
but I'm not sure it will look right. It might look like little red eyes peeping out the sky, you know, a bit scary. Oh, mm, I have to colour that in like that. Okay, and um, well, there's a triangle bit there. I'm going to ignore that and colour that one in red. Okay, so now we have matchstick mouse to colour. Um, I do have a grey. Mm, but I think it might be nice to stick with these warm colours. Um, I'm going to do the inside of the ear first while I'm pondering. We have a, a flesh deep colour, which I think will work. Sometimes you look at pictures of animals, like photos I mean, and their ears are usually actually quite dark and hairy, not pink, but you know. I think that's how it's drawn, it should be like this. I'm doing the feet, as you can see, all in this colour. Not too hard, because it's quite pink, this colour. I'm not convinced this is flesh, but, you know, that's what it's called. I always find it really difficult to know how to colour flesh, though told this story before but when I was in um, year one at my primary school I and mean, it was the sort of final year no no not the final year of infants second year of infants they have three years of infants it's the middle year I um, I had to write about um, myself what color are your eyes what color is your hair what color is your skin and I didn't know what color my skin was I couldn't describe it. I mean, I thought I put pink and that was wrong. So I put brown because I had a suntan a little bit. It's not really brown so that was wrong. And, then, and I put white and that was right and I didn't understand that because I didn't think that looked white. I didn't understand about how we sort of used the terminology for skin colour which was <laughs> interesting. Not something we'd ever talked about at home or learned about or thought about. <laughs> that was interesting. Burnt umber. So uh, I was really confused. I was like, but it isn't, that can't be right. Why is that right? Because I had to ask somebody what the answer was because I didn't know. I didn't understand. <laughs> Some interesting. I like, love the innocence of children. It's very good. Mine are um, older, much older now, obviously, than that. I was five then. Um, but they, um, they, they've had very different exposure to things than I did. And uh, they're very much more knowledgeable and open-minded as to um, sort of political correctness and equality and things like that, which I think is brilliant. I like this colour for the mouse. They uh, they teach me. I ask them a lot of questions because I want to learn. I want to know. I want to do things correctly. It's interesting. I'm trying to think of the hat colour while I'm colouring this, and I'm not doing anything special except at the bottom of the limbs, just putting in a little bit of a darker layer, and here you know, to show some shadow under the a bit under the bag as well. Just a little bit, keeping it really simple. Now the face, I'm not sure whether to do a slightly different colour. I'm going to cheat and look at what he does on the cover. So look, the face is a really different colour and there's a bit of white. I don't think I want to leave a bit of white because uh, I'm not quite sure it'll work. But what I'm going to do is we will do the face, slightly different colour. But I'm thinking, what should we use? <laughs> and let's try this yellow ochre. Let's see how that looks. Might be warm and cute. Cute hot mouse. But as I say, I'm not going to leave that a bit white. I'm going to go over it. Oh, let's just do it a bit harder. I think a little bit darker. Could leave that a bit, a bit lighter, I guess. But I think I'll darken it. Now hat. You know what I want to do for hat? I think red would look really good. 
we have a vermilion in here. I don't know if that's too close. Now, oh, we haven't done that bit of the ear. Back with the burnt umber. And just do this bit here. What's that? Is that a bit of... I don't know. There, it's coloured now. I don't know what it is. <laughs> so vermilion. Now I'm going to do a layer all over the hat and then think about shading after. Because we want to make sure it's quite colourful. I think red works well with these autumnal tones. But I won't always give um, give matchstick mouse a red hat. It will sort of depend. Sometimes it might, you know, orange would match too. Um, or you could just do a completely random colour. Why should it match? You know, surely it doesn't have to. It depends whether you want your palette to match together. Right, there's my rough. Now I'm going to start here and I'm thinking this can be darker. i layer it up a bit here. And then fade as we go up the hat band. Because the lights, I know it's dark, but the light's going to be on this bit, I think. I think it's nice to still imagine there's some light and shade, even though it's a dark picture. So it's going to look a bit flat. There we go. And then under here, I think it'll be quite dark again. In fact, in there, I think it will be the darkest bit. And I'm not really getting enough dark with this red, so I'm going to grab this burnt umber and just put a little bit in here to really darken up that, that corner. And then go back over with my vermilion. And hopefully, it just gives us that darker bit. I'm going to go up. Here and start to fade as I go up the hat. This a bit dark around here. Now these things I'm going to go over in a minute with a different colour. It's like the stitching or something. I'm just going to tidy up this because it's a bit messy. I don't really want to darken it very much, but I just want to make sure it doesn't look really messy. I've got this little bit to do here. I think it would be fairly light and the light would be nearer to the top and the distance part. A bit more colour in there. There we go. Now these bits, I'm just going to do them in black. We have the ivory black and I'm just going to go over them as if they're stitches. That's what I think they are. Now, I'm just looking and seeing, making sure I haven't missed any. Now, if you've got a glaze pen, some people do the whites of eyes with a glaze pen. I don't have one. Um, here's my sparkle pen. This is a jelly roll. Um, oh, there it is. I don't know how it's very hard to see. It's number 700. Okay. And we're going to go over the these bits here. and the stars with the sparkle glaze I've not used it on such a big area but it's like a glitter glue in a pen really it's not as um, shiny as stickles why I think that is is because this is very small bits of glitter because they've obviously got to come out the nib of this pen so they're little and I don't think that gives such a bright sparkle as larger bits. The problem with the larger bits is that it's hard to colour on the um, on the back. So I do have a little trick with stickles, which I am going to record for you soon, that I use to use it for backgrounds and keep it quite thin so you can colour on the back. Um, I'm actually, most of my videos, this is a little bonus video, because of it, me wanting to show that I'd received it to the person who sent it to me. Um, the trick, um, I will show you the sort of video and the trick of using it in a, it will come out in August. I think I'm, 
I'm so I'm getting really ahead with my videos. I went massively out of the line there. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's August when um, when it'll go out. So it'll be a while yet, but I will show you. Okay, let me just I'm going to tilt that to the line. Just make sure I've got them all because I can't see myself. Um, yeah, I think that's all of them. So there we go. There is our little mouse running along. So you can see that the um, this case isn't really exactly the right colour. I could have added a bit more brown in there. But I just want to differentiate between the colours of the leaves and the mouse and the different things. But there we go. But there is our finished um, picture. Let's just try and straighten him up a little bit so he can have his photo taken and be used as the, as, uh, the thumbnail for the video. <laughs> But thank you for watching. Um, thank you very much to the lovely person who sent me the book. I'm really excited. I just want to colour it all today. But I've got other things to do, sadly. But, you know, you never know. <laughs> but thank you so much. And thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And happy colouring. <laughs>